In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to open a PDF in Google Slides. So if you have a PDF and you want to open it and work with it in Google Slides, there's a few different ways you might want to do that. So one way you might want to do it is where you insert a single page of your PDF into a slide of your Google Slide. So that can be really good if there's a certain page from a document that you want to show in a presentation, a Google, inside a Google Slides presentation. So Tim, will show you how to do that in a minute. But a different way you might want to open a PDF in Google Slides is where you actually turn the PDF into a Google Slides presentation and then you open it up and each page is its own separate slide and it's like the PDF has become a Google Slide. So that's a different way that Tamil will also show you in a minute. And the other way you might want to do it is where you have an existing Google Slides presentation and you have a PDF and you want to insert a few of those pages of the PDF as slides in your existing Google Slides presentation. So Timmy's going to show you how to do all of that in this video. If you want to skip to a specific thing, there'll be timestamps down below in the description, so you can click on them and skip straight to the part you want to go to. But the first thing Timmy's going to show you how to do is how to insert a single page of your PDF into a slide of a Google Slides presentation. So if you want to do that, the first thing you'll need to do is convert that page of your PDF into an image in order to insert it in the slide. So to do that, you'll need to go to online-convert.com. It's a really cool file conversion website that Timmy's used heaps of times and it's just really good and it works really well. And you'll need to come down here to image converter and click on select target format and choose PNG so that you can convert the page into a PNG. And now you'll just need to click on choose files here and you'll need to choose your PDF. So Timmy's got Timmy's example PDF here and Timmy will just double click on it to select it. And now it will upload your PDF ready for you to download it as a PNG. So we'll just have to wait for that to finish. It shouldn't take too long because PDFs are usually not that big and it's done already. So then once it's finished uploading, you'll just need to click on start conversion. And now it will take about, it will take really only a few seconds to convert it into a PNG. So we'll just wait for that. And now that it's complete, you'll see down here, there's a whole lot of different pages. And that's because there were four different pages in the PDF. So if you only had one page in your PDF, it would just automatically start downloading to your computer as a PNG. But if your PDF had multiple pages like Timmy's did, you need to choose the specific page you want to download. So if you want to insert the fourth page of your PDF into your Google slide, you'll just need to find where it says four here and click download. And now you'll be downloading the PNG version of the fourth page of your PDF. So now that's downloaded. And now you'll have an image of that fourth page that you can just insert into your Google slide like you would with any other image. So if we go over to the Google slide here, you'll just need to click on the slide you want to insert it into. So you could be on this slide, but Timmy's going to insert it on this side here. And then once you're on the slide you want to insert it into, you will just need to click on this drop down here and click on upload from computer. And now click on your PNG that you just downloaded. And now that one page of your PDF will be in, in here in Google Slides, just like an image. So you can make it a bit smaller if you want to. You can drag it around to position it perfectly. So maybe you just want to set it there like that. And that's all there is to it. So now you have your page of your PDF in your Google Slide. So that's really cool if you want to insert a page of a PDF into a Google Slides presentation. But if you want to actually turn your PDF into a Google Slides presentation, there's quite a different way you need to do that. So to do that, you'll actually need to convert your PDF into a PowerPoint presentation file. Don't worry, you don't have to have PowerPoint or anything. You just have to convert it into a PowerPoint file. 
and then you can upload it to Google Drive and use it in Google Slides. So to do that, you'll need to go to smallpdf.com slash pdf to ppt, and there'll be a link in the video description so you don't have to bother typing that, you can just click on it. But then once you're here, you'll need to click on choose files, and now you'll need to choose your PDF. So Timmy's got Timmy's PDF right here, and just double click on it. And now it will upload your PDF to smallpdf.com. So you'll just have to wait a few seconds for that to finish. And now it says converting. So you just have to wait a few more seconds for it to finish converting. And now it's done. So it says done, your PDF is now a PPT file. So now you just need to click on download here and it will download your PD PDF as a PPT file to your computer. So just wait for that to finish and it's now done. So now once you've downloaded the PPT version of your PDF, you'll need to go to your Google Drive and upload it to Google Drive. So you'll just need to go to drive.google.com and then you'll need to click on new here and then click on file upload. And now you'll need to choose your PPT file. So you'll see here's the PowerPoint version of it here and you'll just need to double click on that. And now it will upload the PowerPoint version of your PDF to Google Drive. And it's, you see, you'll see the progress here. And now it says one upload complete, so it's completed. And then once it's finished uploading, you'll just need to click on it here and it will instantly open up in Google Slides. It will take a few seconds for it to work out how to open the PPT file in a Google Slides, but once it's done with that, you'll be ready to go. So you'll get this thing t get telling you about how it's editing a PPT, and you can just close that. And now your PDF is in Google Slides. So this is page one, and it's the first slide, and page two is the second slide, page three is the third slide and so on like that. And you can make any changes to it you want. You can add new slides and you can even actually edit a lot of the elements that were in the PDF. So this text here, for example, if you wanted to change some of those words, you could click in here and you could type new things just like that. So that's really cool. And you can really do whatever you want with it. The PDF is now a Google slide. One thing to me will mention is it's still a PowerPoint file in Google Drive that you're editing within Google Slides. So that can have some limitations on it. So if you want to make it completely a Google Slide, you'll need to go up to File and then come down here and click on Save as Google Slides. And now it, within a few seconds, it will very quickly and easily turn it into a proper Google Slide with no limitations, it'll be exactly like every other Google Slide. So that's really cool, and that's how you can make your PDF completely a Google Slides presentation. But if you already have an existing Google Slides presentation like this, where you've got a few slides and a bit of information in it, but you want to use all or some of the pages in your PDF as additional slides here, there's a different way you can do it. So the first part is the same as the last option to me showed you where you need to go to smallpdf.com slash pdf to ppt and then click on choose files and upload your pdf so you're converting your pdf into a powerpoint presentation so we'll just wait for that to finish uploading and converting it really won't take very long and then when that's done you can just click on download and it will download your pdf as a powerpoint presentation to your computer but don't worry you don't have to have powerpoint it'll just be on your computer and now we're going to use it in google slides so then you'll need to go over to your google slides presentation and now click on file up here and then come down to import slides here and click on import slides. And now you'll need to click on upload and you'll need to upload the PowerPoint presentation that we just downloaded. So if you click select a file from your device, you'll see here is the PDF converted into a PowerPoint and you just need to double click on that to select it. And now it will upload that here and we'll just need to wait a second for that to happen. And now it's uploaded and ready to go. So if you wanted to insert all of the pages of your PDF into this presentation, you would need to click on each one to select each one of them. 
but maybe if you don't want these two middle pages inserted, you could just click on them to not insert them and you just want these two pages. So you can do whatever you want like that. And then once you've chosen the pages you want to insert, just click on import slides. And now it will import the slides into your existing presentation. So now you'll see the first slide of your presentation is still here just like this. And now the first page of your PDF is inserted here as slide two. And it's changed the shape of it a bit because this presentation was a different shape to the PDF. So it will morph it a bit like that, but it looks pretty good. And then the la last page of your PDF is here as well. And then here are the other two slides that were already in the Google Slides presentation. So that's really cool. And that's just another way you can do it if you already have an existing Google Slides presentation that you want to add some of your PDF pages to. But however you want to insert your PDF into Google Slides, that's how it can be done. And hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below and click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every time Timmy makes a new video. So that's really cool and Timmy will see you in the next video.